name is Morik and uh, welcome to Gurchkei National School. This is our website, gurchkei.com and uh, we just want to introduce uh, the project that we did here that focused on money and the blockchain and Melonport, the Melonport platform. So first off we started, um, we did this in class with the pupils and uh, we began with the history of money and what exactly money is. So who can tell me? Who can tell us what money is? One thing, one characteristic of money. Okay, we go to order. Money must be a token of trade. It must be stable and limited. Yeah, okay. Now, um, what else did we learn, uh, Alex? M money must be um, valuable or else because you just can't pay with a leaf or a stick or grass. Yeah, so to put it there, what else? So money has to, there has to be a limited supply of money. Um, what? A token of exchange. A token of exchange. And? And it has to be stable. It has to be stable. Okay? Um, now, what, when we went in, uh, give me an example of when money wasn't stable. We looked at in history. Carl. Back in Germany after World War One, they had to pay America for the World War, but they didn't have enough money, so they had to print it, but it wasn't as valuable. Okay. And what photos did we look at? What? Sure. Uh, children playing with money. Play with what? Well, it would be Stacks, of Stacks of money. Stacks of money, yeah. And what else did we look at? We had a picture of a man with a wheelbarrow full of money in, in Germany in the 30s. What was that about? Yeah, yeah. So, so they printed too much money, which meant the money supply, there was too much money in circulation, so it became less valuable. Now, what uh, was created after 2008? We had the crash, financial crash in 2008, and what was created? What was it? Uh, Bitcoin. Bitcoin. Bitcoin was one of the first. What is Bitcoin? It's a, it, Bitcoin is a digital money that you can feel, see, or touch. Yeah, it's digital currency. Okay, digital currency. Now, how many type of coins? It's not just Bitcoin. Can anyone name any other digital coins? Um, Bradley. Um, Stellium. Stellar. Stellar. That's it. Jared. Uh, uh, Ether. What? Ether. 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 Owen. Ripple. Ripple. Yeah, Ripple is another one. Paul. Melon. 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 Yeah, melon is a coin. Now, what is the melon? What is melon software? Okay, Josh. Um. What do we use it for? What do we use melon, the melon core software for? What was it? What did it have a list of? Anyone else? Oh. Yeah. It had the list of all the cryptocurrency. Yeah, a lot. Some cryptocurrencies. How many cryptocurrencies are there? For over approximately 10 over 1400. over 1400 okay so we um, what did we have to do to set up an account on the Mellonport platform now your parents helped you or you helped your parents more like so what did uh, what did we have to do what do we have to set up um, Go on. Uh, um, uh, digital wallet. a digital wallet yeah and what did we use to set up a digital wallet what did we use sure. MetaMask. MetaMask. Yeah, MetaMask. We added that to our browser and uh, you set up a fund. And what did we not do with everyone at the start? Because we had over 20 funds. So we decided what? That we wouldn't register, register them all, which was our mistake, um, because we just thought we'd register the ones that might get to the top 100 in the last few days. Okay. Um, so where did we say, what, what uh, when we set up a fund, what did that involve? What did we have to do? Save our passwords in a website called securesave.com. Yeah, securesave.com. Yeah. Now, what did we use? What did we save in that in securesave.com? What did we save for each account? Um, new passwords. Yeah, the password. It was a phrase, wasn't it? The, the phrase, the um, the account address, and the, the thing called the monomic phrase. Okay, and um, who managed to get into the top one hundred? Anybody? Right, Daniel, what was your account? My account was called Legends. Legends, okay. And Jared? My account was called Legends. 
chocolate. Your account is called chocolate. Good, Michael. Uh, Rhino 1863. Rhino 1863. And there was another one there, one of the parents, Catherine Satoshi, was another. So they were the four that managed to get into the top 100. Now, after somebody else registered the accounts, um, we didn't bother trading them anymore. Sure, we didn't. Um, so two of them have dropped out of the top 100, but what two are still left? Rhino. 1863, that was, yeah. yeah. 1863, that was your one, Michael, was it? Yeah. And what other one is left? Oh, one. Rhino. Catherine Satoshi is left as well. <coughs> okay, so they're the two that are left. Now we have the phrases, don't we? We have all the details on those. And we have some other accounts of some of your parents. I think two have crept into the top um, 100 as well. So did you all enjoy the competition? Yes. Okay, what did you learn? When somebody t uh, loves it, tell me, what, what did you learn from doing the competition? Anything you learned that you didn't know about two weeks ago? Right, Carl. Um, I learned a lot more currencies. About currencies, about digital currencies, yeah. Anything else? Uh, a lot about the stock exchange. Yeah, the stock exchange, yeah. We learned about the stock exchange, yeah. The stock exchange and, and the exchanges for trading digital currencies as well, yeah. Orla? Uh -huh. Yeah, a whole. A whole new way of money. Yeah, a whole. There's a new way, a new system of, of money, and uh, being developed in the form of digital currencies. Josh. Um, we learned some history. We did. We learned about the history, some of the history of money. Ethan. Blockchain. We learned about the blockchain. The blockchain. What? Can anyone explain what the blockchain is? It's a bit hard to explain, isn't it? What is it? Uh, it's oh. like loads of different modes of computing. Yeah. Uh, like nodes, it's a node, a network of nodes that